perfectly tailored to man the ramparts of your home. The 300 Blackout AR pistols are practically perfect in every way. After all, the eminently suppressible, hard-hitting 30 caliber was tailored for such guns. In today's video, we'll be showcasing the best 300 Blackout pistols on the market, from compact and concealable options to full-sized powerhouses. These firearms are sure to impress any gun enthusiast. So get ready to discover the top contenders in the world of 300 Blackout Pistols. SIG MCX Rattler MSRP $2,720 Short and sweet, the 5.5-inch barreled MCX Rattler is as compact as 300 Blackout Pistols come. Granted, you give up some ballistic performance, but gain a GAT easy to transport and yes, conceal. The Rattler runs a very dependable gas piston system, which eliminates all of the fouling typical in these short-barreled configurations. Additionally, the gun has one of the best buttstock systems going, a fast deploying affair that cuts the size of the firearm nearly in half when folded in. Interestingly, SIG is one of the gun makers that subscribe to faster-than-usual twist rates for 300 blackout, 1 in 5 inch, thus stabilizing subsonic ammo. The only spot on the Rattler is its trigger. The SIG Enhanced is heavy and not as responsive as you'd expect in a gun of this class, somewhat akin to a mil-spec job. However, the company's matched duo with a 5.5 break does a much better job of getting the most out of the pistol. Wilson Combat Protector MSRP $2,000 what would you say if Wilson Combat could offer a pistol with all the same components as their other rifles in a package that knocks several hundred dollars off the cost without sacrificing any performance? I'd say, where do I get one? Well, that's just what owner Bill Wilson did with his new Protector rifle. Yep, barrels, bolts, triggers are all the same. The only difference is the new line of rifle sport forged upper and lower receivers instead of the billet receivers. Compared to most everything else on the market, the 11.3-inch barrel pistol is an absolute Cadillac. You get what you pay for. In this case, a pistol loaded with the company's high-performance custom parts and extras you won't find on economy models. The 10-inch handguard is an M-Lock-compatible octagonal model, while the muzzle is tipped with Wilson Combat's proprietary Q-Comp combination flash hider muzzle brake to minimize muzzle rise and flash signature. The Wilson Combat marked lower receiver sports a specially engraved BCM Mod 3 grip, oversized trigger guard, and an excellent Gearhead Works Tailhook Mod 2 brace. Meanwhile, the trigger is Wilson Combat's two-stage TTU, which provides a very crisp, light, 4.5 to 5-pound pull. All external metal is coated in an attractive black armor tough finish. Weight is a slight 5 pounds 10 ounces with an overall length of 27.5 inches with the brace collapsed. The whole outfit comes in an attractive Wilson Tactical embroidered black nylon tactical carrying case, including a 20-round, 300 blackout marked D&H aluminum magazine. CMMG Descent MSRP $1,752 CMMG's Descent offers a lot of compact firepower in a simple, familiar, reliable platform. It's a specialized niche tool, but one that might be handy for the average urban dweller. It comes packed with most of the features I want and need while remaining small and concealable. The trigger is fantastic, the gun eats whatever I put through it, and for personal defense ranges, it's plenty capable. When you choose calibers, the 300 Blackout and 5.7x28mm offer you the best short barrel performance, but admittedly, the 5.56 offers you much cheaper ammunition for practice. The overall length of the CMMG Descent pistol is 14.7 inches, and it weighs in at 4.6 pounds. It comes with a 6.5-inch free-floated 4140 chrome moly threaded barrel, equipped with CMMG zeroed linear compensators and features an SLR adjustable gas block. Taking the Descent's many attributes together, it appears to be a reliable and compact firearm that will give its owners another tool with which to be well defended should the need arise. The gun itself is already well suited for PDW role, but it needs a few accessories to really shine. Springfield St. Victor Pistol MSRP $2,000 
$1,100. A late adopter of the AR, Springfield Armory has since risen to the top of mid-priced configurations. Fitting right into this slot is the St. Victor 300 Blackout Pistol. In the same breath, the gun is compact enough to enhance its nimbleness, yet big enough to ensure the cartridge's ballistic integrity. Also, it's loaded with frills not often found at this price point. Some of these extras include a top-end, self-lubricating, nickel-boron trigger, suppressor-ready heavy tungsten buffer, adjustable SB tactical buttstock, and forward hand stop. Even though the Victor has a 9-inch barrel, the last feature is a nice peace of mind. The only complaint is the 300 Blackout's A2 flash hider. Pretty standard, yes, but the 5.56 rendition comes with Springfield's forward blast diverter. The company's thinking must be a suppressor is going on there anyway. So, cut costs with a standard muzzle device. Palmetto State Armory Jackal MSRP $1,099 When it comes to affordability, most figured Palmetto State Armory was going to show up sooner or later on this list. The company has several 300 Blackout pistols worth considering, and fairly comparable in construction. We tend to the 8.5-inch Jackal model, given it's the rare smallster in the caliber that doesn't demand a king's ransom. The Jackal has all the feel of an AR-15 pistol, though the abbreviated receiver and folding brace give you a clue as to the piston inside. The grip is an A2 style, and some people are okay with this, but it's one of the first things I tend to replace. The trigger is a mil-spec feeling single stage, broke at 4.5 pounds with an almost immediate reset. Additionally, the rail is a good size and features 1913 rail on the top, QD wells on the sides near the lower and in the rear of the receiver. M-lock slots are located at 3, 6, and 9 o'clock. No sights are included with the Jackal. The Jackal is fun to shoot, and I saw where with a couple of upgrades, its performance could really shine. The gun is boringly reliable and is sized to be a near-constant companion, at least anywhere you'll tote a rucksack. It's small enough to run suppressed without adding too much overall length, and eats up gas with its adjustable system. This is a cool firearm that has a lot of features you'd want in a truck gun or a home defender. Sig Sauer MCX Spear LT MSRP $3,037 When the military selects a weapons platform, the design and features are distilled and translated down to the consumer market in a range of products. We can see some of that in the third iteration of Sig Sauer's MCX rifle platform. The MCX Spear LT model in 300 Blackout has a redesigned and lightened handguard with attachment screws for additional rigidity and a lightened profile barrel with improved accuracy. Other features include fully ambidextrous controls, including the bolt catch and release, a coyote anodized finish, a nitride finished barrel, a minimalist folding stock that has also been redesigned to be easier to operate, and a SIG QD suppressor ready flash hider. A major feature that has returned from the OG MCX is the ability of the MCX Spear LT to accept AR 15 style triggers and trigger packs, something the Virtus can't do. The MCX Spear LT lived up to the task of being an ergonomic, well handling rifle. Drills moving around barricades and training evolutions involving firing and evacuating from vehicles clearly bore this out. The handy MCX is what individuals will choose to work with in such environments. The piston-driven MCX proved utterly reliable, with only minimal effort given to wipe down bolt carrier group and lubricate sporadically. Performance is the quickest way to appeal to the shooting public. The MCX Spear LT will have no problem proving its worth. Daniel Defense DDM-4 300S MSRP $1,749 Daniel Defense has been producing some of the most trusted ARs for years. The company's MK-18 remains one of the most popular 10.5-inch barreled 5.56 ARs on the market today, and the DDM-4 300S brings that battle-proven heritage to the 300 Blackout. The DDM-4 300S starts with upper and lower receivers that are CNC machined from 7075 T6 aluminum. The upper features a 10.3-inch chrome moly cold hammer-forged barrel with Daniel Defense's strength-to-weight profile, M4 feed ramps, and a 1 and 8-inch twist rate. Coated in a salt bath nitride finish, 
the barrel has been high pressure and magnetic particle tested. The pistol length gas system is channeled through a pinned, low profile gas block machined from 4140 hardened steel. It drives an M16 profile, chrome lined bolt carrier group that has been MP tested and properly staked. Surrounding the barrel and gas system is Daniel Defense's 9 inch DDM4 rail, a quad rail handguard with QD sling sockets at the front and rear on both sides. The lower receiver features traditional AR controls, including a mil spec trigger and single sided safety, and an enlarged trigger guard. The six position buffer tube supports a Daniel Defense collapsible stock, which has an ergonomic design with soft touch overmolding. The Daniel Defense pistol grip is more vertical than traditional A2 style designs for better handling and control in close quarters, and it also sports matching soft touch overmolding for comfort. The DDM4 300S more than lives up to Daniel Defense's reputation for reliability and accuracy. It's an incredibly versatile package. If you're in the market for a solid AR pistol and a proven barrel length and a promising caliber, make sure you check out the DDM4 300S you won't be disappointed.